everybody. I'm Judy Berger. I'm the uh, Community Nutrition Manager at JABA. And you're going, why do people who work with old people want anything to do with farmers and markets? And um, I'm just going to give you a brief reason why. Um, JABA serves um, an elderly population, granted, but um, we also see that it's important for folks as you're, as you're getting to that elderly stage to eat nutritionally so that you can um, age in a more healthy way. We also serve a low-income population in some of our clients, and we, it's very important to us that they receive the best food out there. So this in mind, <clears throat> we've um, launched a few projects with you all. Last year you did the, um, the market currency, which Stephanie's going to talk about in a few minutes. And um, we had a foundation come to us this year, and they said, we will give you the money to start EBT at your market. EBT stands for Electronic Balance Transfer. It means that if I have a debit card, I can go up to the counter where we're giving out tokens, swipe my debit card for 20 or 30 bucks worth of tokens, and come spend them with you. It also means that if I'm a food stamp recipient, I can swipe my SNAP benefit card and get tokens and come spend them with you. Okay? The nice thing about the Wholesome Wave grant is, as they said, we will pay for the equipment, we will pay for um, someone to run the show basically for the first year, and we will give you an additional $7,000 of double voucher coupons that people with SNAP benefits can use in addition to their SNAP benefits. Okay, so if I receive SNAP benefits and I swipe my card for $10 to come spend at your booth, I can also get an additional $10 in coupons to spend at your booth. Okay, so they basically handed us $7,000 just to put in your pocket, okay, as vendors. So the person that we hired is Cecile Gorham, who is the president of Market Central. She's um, been doing the organizing of the EBT equipment. We have, I'm going to pass out some papers here in a minute that show you what the tokens look like. Um, and and she's, she's heading up the project this year. I'm trying to kind of be support um, at JABA. In markets the size of Charlottesville, which we're considered a medium-sized market, um, in markets all over the United States, the addition of the EBT um, has brought in an additional forty to sixty thousand dollars a year. Okay, so this is just money in your pocket. But I do want to tell you this first off is you don't have to participate if you don't want to. All right, you can choose not to accept the tokens. All right, I'm going to real quick run through the process of how this works. All right, client comes up with either a debit card or a SNAP card. Swipes it for how much money he wants. We give that person, if it's a um, SNAP beneficiary card, we give them the red coins. And they can also get the double voucher coupons. If it's a debit person, a debit card person, they get the green coins. All right? First example, let's start with the SNAP beneficiaries, our food stamp folks. They have $10 in coins. They purchase X amount of dollars from you, say $4 in produce. They can also use their bucks to spend an additional $4, okay? You never give monetary change or any kind of change for a SNAP beneficiary person. And the reason why is because the federal government has to track this money. So we can't have you take money out of your pocket to give them change back. If they have $10 in, in, in coins and they only buy $9.50 in produce, you cannot give them 50 cents back. What you can do is say, I'll throw in an extra something or other that'll use up the extra 50 cents, or you only take $9 worth and give them a break. Whatever you want to do is fine. Or they can give you 50 cents of their own money. Of their too. own money. So right. you'll have to kind of work it out with your customers. Okay. So the restrictions more are on the SNAP people, our food stamp recipients. Okay. Um, when a debit card person comes up with a green coin, you can give them monetary change back all you want. Okay, green means go, go with the change, all right? Red means stop, no change, and it says it on the coins, okay? Those of you who want to be involved in this program will get a sign to hang at your tent that says we accept SNAP benefits, okay? Um, I can't imagine any reason at all that you would not want to at least accept the debit tokens, 
Okay. Well, I can't imagine any reason why you wouldn't want to accept either one of them because what's going to happen is at the end of the day, you bring us your tokens and we'll put them in an envelope like this. You'll fill out a little piece of paper and I'll give these to you on your way out that says how many, coupon, how many coins are in there, whether they're debit or credit. We both sign off on it. Okay, we've counted them. That's how many they are. Seal will come back, do some accounting, figure out how much we owe you, take out the 6% that goes to Stephanie, and write you a check to give you the next Saturday. You do not have to wait a month to get your money. You will get your check from a week before at the following Saturday. Okay? Those of you who have electronic, can do electronic transfer, Jabba is more than happy to electronically transfer it into your fund during the week if you want it sooner. Okay, that's actually easier for us, less what bookkeeping. What if you're a non-reserve bank? What does that mean? That means they don't have a space every week. They don't have a space every week. Then you need to either give me a um, account number to transfer the money into or an address that I can mail you the check. Um, and, you know, if you know you're going to be there every Saturday, we'll just bring you the check the following Saturday. If you don't want to do it that way, we can mail it to you. I mean, it doesn't make any difference to us. The idea is that we want to make sure the market is sustainable and is accessible to people that we serve. We want low-income people to be able to, let me bang that mic a little more. I know that sounded good. Um, that we want low-income people that we serve to have access to good food. But if you choose not to accept that coin, that's up to you. However, it means that you're going to lose out on some income. But if you don't want to wait for your check for the, until the next week, then that's, that's fine. You don't have to take it. The vendor will not pay a transaction fee. The people who, spend their de who use their debit card to get coin tokens will spend for each transaction, each time they swipe their card, they will pay a dollar. That will go to pay for um, the transaction fees that we have to pay for um, with the bank for the EBT machine. And then the extra 45 or 50 cents on every dollar goes into the city market money. So it's just another way that we can make money for the market. Okay, they have the choice of putting them in their pocket and bringing them back the next day. I mean, bringing them back the next week, okay? Or SNAP beneficiaries, because their funds are a lot more limited, can actually bring their coins back and we can add it back onto their SNAP card so they, if they need to go to the grocery store that week, they can. Um, a lot of the debit card users just carry them around and use them from week to week. So, and a lot of them don't ever even get turned in. So there we have money that's just sitting in the account waiting to be used, which is good for the central bank account, but not good for your bank accounts because we, we want it to go to you. Are the SNAP tokens um, subject to sales tax? Um, I, I have to look into that. I'm not really sure. They shouldn't be. No other, yeah. When you go into the store with food stamps. They don't pay sales tax? No. Okay, then it's, it's going to be the exact same here. All you are is another vendor. I will have a full basic rundown of training with details of this this for you guys is really easy you just need to remember red stop no change green whatever you want to do whatever they want to buy okay but I will send you a list of what they can buy with those red ones um, remind you that you cannot um, give change for the red ones how you turn in your coins at the end of the day how you get your check back the next week it's a really simple process but and I will also um, email or mail copies of these to you so that everybody has the regs before we get started okay and um, mine and Cecile's numbers are at the bottom that's my cell phone, so if you're actually at the market and you have a question, you can call me because I'll be there with my cell phone. Seal will be there also working. Um, we'll probably both be doing a lot of this the first couple weeks till we get the hang of it, so yes. And there will be a big sign up that says, get your tokens here. And, and we're also going to do a big um, uh, a press release and, and, and um, blah, 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 media splurge. And we're also going to send out a bunch of stuff to people who receive food stamps and, and get the word out so that people know that once they get there, they can swipe their cards and buy stuff at the market. So the local currency. I, I just really wanted to just say, we, we started the local currency last year. Um, basically, same reason. We, we want um, our low-income neighbors to have healthy food. And we originally kind of thought, well, maybe they can't afford our food. Um, so let's give it to them. Yeah. So Jabba and the city went together and gave $1,000, and we gave out um, these local currency. I didn't bring any. I didn't bring any either. How many of you received local currency this year? Great. Was it a problem? Yeah, city market. Were people happy? 
Yeah. And, and I hope that you feel free in educating them. A lot of them don't know that you have to snap the ends off the string beans before you can cook them. I mean, really, they don't know. It's so obvious to us, but they don't know. They don't know what an eggplant is. They don't know how to cook it. Share your knowledge to them when they come use those, OK? Because they were very happy to, to participate in this. Um, we got letters we, yeah. from people thanking us for doing it and thanking you all for being so generous because everybody said they gave me more than I actually had to pay for. So yeah. thanks, you guys. So it, it, was very, it was a nice program. We plan to do it again. We'll do it after we do the double vouchers, though. The double vouchers will be the first push for the season so we can get that $7,000 sunk into your pockets. And then we'll do um, local currency a little later on in the season like we did last year. And also the program. We're working on that. Yeah, they're working on getting WIC we kosher with farmers markets. Every week. So.